Hey, it's Scott Kubo. Uh, I have some videos that I made a while ago that I want to share. It's autopilot handling some really extreme curved exit ramps. Now previously I had made a video showing how autopilot uh, was able to handle a 20 mile per hour curved exit ramp. And uh, if you're familiar with Los Angeles, uh, you'll know that there's a lot of abrupt and very short uh, curved exit ramps. Uh, this really put autopilot to the test and let's see how it does. Right. Now keep right to the interstate 405 south. So we're already in the far right lane, so keep right to the Ventura Boulevard. That interchange is fine. And the exit is coming up. Now keep right to the Ventura Boulevard. Autopilot signaling and takes that fork to the right. There's a chime. Autopilot navigate on autopilot is ending. Oh, this is a right. Whoa. Right and a left. That was a little odd, but it sort of made it. Cut a little close on the left there. Okay. So sometimes uh, it's uh, done okay, but uh, a lot of times it cuts corners too close there. Now I'd previously uh, shown a 20 mile per hour curve. Uh, there tends to be a lot of tight exit ramps on the older parts of the 405. Okay, now try to ask, where is the street? Where is Street? Turn left onto Victory Boulevard. 15. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever done a 15 mile per hour. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, that kind of worked. Now turn left onto Victory Boulevard. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's on the video too. What is on the video? <laughs> All of that. <laughs> now, a while ago, I made a video uh, driving into downtown Los Angeles. And if you remember, there was this really abrupt and uh, tight uh, exit ramp curve uh, that I noticed. And I wonder how Autopilot would handle that. There it is right there. Um, we have Navigate on Autopilot now, and so Autopilot will take the exits on its own. I was curious to see how it would do with that, and if it would slow down in time. So here we go. Uh, we have Navigate on Autopilot on, as indicated by the blue line going down the path. And we're coming up to the exit. Okay, here, so it looks like Navigate on Autopilot turns off. I don't think it's actually going to take this exit on its own. Yeah, so I had to uh, manually take over. So I'm guessing that this uh, exit is either unmapped or it's just too challenging right now for autopilot. So it's been mapped specifically for it not to try to, uh, to do that exit itself. Here's a crazy exit ramp. Uh, autopilot really being uh, put to the test. Right, our exit is coming up. We've got navigate on autopilot on. Should be able to. There it goes, signaling, slowing down for this exit, slowing down quite a bit here. Whoa, this is a 15 mile per hour turn. Really slowing down here. Really slowing down. Tight turn. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was actually pretty good. And comes to a stop as it notices that the highway has ended. Okay, I was impressed with that. 
So let's look at this again. Uh, just as an aside, uh, regular autopilot will stay in the lane and take these curves. Uh, navigate on autopilot feature is where it will actually take this exit. It slows down way ahead, which is really great. Um, there's no shoulder. You've got this barrier on the right. The railing on the left makes that really tight turn. This is the farthest I've ever seen the steering wheel go. And um, really action navigates this uh, turn quite well. And then it gives you the, uh, the warning saying that autopilot is ending. Now, I'm not sure why this exit ramp was uh, designed like this, but I'm sure uh, folks were probably working within the constraints of uh, uh, the neighborhoods and the roads surrounding uh, this highway. And the construction on the right side there makes it also more challenging. Can it get crazier than that? Well, yes it can. Um, look at this uh, exit ramp on the map there. This is 405 North to exit uh, Wilshire West. And there's a 20 mile per hour right turn here. Slowing down for that. Okay. 10 miles per hour. This is a really sharp, really odd exit. Oh, there's no way it's going to make this. Nope. Oh. No way. Now, I don't know if it was the vision system not being able to perceive and uh, determine the path for that tight curve, or if there was just constraints on uh, how far autopilot is allowed to torque the steering wheel, uh, which is often the case as a, as a safety feature. So autopilot getting better and better, but of course still some constraints, uh, still uh, edge and corner cases that uh, self-driving cars will have to learn how to navigate. And it's not just handling tight curved exit ramps, uh, the car will still eventually need to get really good at deciding which lane to be in as it comes to the exit and how to adjust for weather and bad road conditions, etc. But uh, right now, uh, it's still pretty amazing to see it uh, do some of these things on its own. And I want to point out that these uh, speed advisory uh, signs are not legal speed limits, uh, nor are they the design limits of the road, but they are recommended uh, speeds. I guess a lot of people do. Uh, most people actually drive faster than the uh, posted uh, speed. Uh, handling these curves is uh, part of uh, regular autopilot. Um, the navigate on autopilot feature, which comes if you purchase uh, full self-driving, is where the car will follow its navigation and uh, take these uh, exits uh, and do uh, lane changes on its own. Big shout out to Jonathan and Joel who took uh, delivery of uh, new vehicles uh, recently. Hope you're enjoying your cars. If you're researching to purchase a new Tesla and you found this video informative and helpful, uh, you can click on the link and uh, find out how to get yourself uh, free supercharging uh, when you order. As always, I enjoyed having you along for a drive and see you in the next video.